what's going on everybody I'm just going to the login panel back and I'm just opening this sublime and you know that we just created a login model here so what more I need I just need to go inside and need to create some more functions so before that I'm just going to the login controller and here you can see that we just created two fields the user uh, this input post and this input post user and user pass what is the user pass the user pass is this thing we're getting from the login view page and this one is the user which is the exactly we are just getting from the login view page too and the both are the fields the text and the password field to getting the password in the text but there what more we need we just need to send both of the things to the model and there is a model exactly you can see that we just set the login model here so what more we need here this login model what do I mean of the login model because we just created the model in the auto load suite so we just need to mention the name of the login model we've learned about the about how to connect the model previously well by the way what we just need to do is to call the login wait for a while I'm just going there to the login model and there we just didn't create it any specific class. we need to create a class or actually the function here so the public function now what the name of this function should be I'm just typing login info and then you know that the, with the way how we do this now I'm just going there and actually the login info and there we're just calling the login info function here and what we are just sending to the login info page here you can see that the, this input post and this input post the end user and user password this name is user and this is the password in the way of parameters I'm just sending the user and the password too as you can see uh, and what more we need we just don't need to do any more thing we just need to go to the login model to design the area okay basically we've sent the data which we, we, we are just getting using the user and the password if all these things clear okay to the login model and the login model has the login info which is which has the user and the password I'm going to the login model here and I'm just uh, opening this one first and then going there and if you if you just remember that what we just got from that page the user and the password we need to correctify this spelling so the password and we just need to go inside this and what more and then what we need you know that we just if it just I just go to the auto load and there is the login model and there is a URL the database we just loaded the database too and uh, because we just connected the database already we just need to type this and the DB you know that we are just setting the DB class uh, the DB method and then the query where what we're just matching here by using this where function or where clause I'm just going there and where username where you know that the username username equal to user and at the comma and the other thing we are just matching two things you know that the user password what is a password field if I just go to the browser and the password this is a user password this field should be in the matching of the password looking pretty perfect and add a semicolon and just press enter and run equal to again this DB and you know that get from which table you want to get the data by uh, using these validations these where clauses I just want to get the data from the user info the database we have created here you can see that the user info so user info that is super perfect and then we need to check it out that what the result I'm getting so if run and I'm running a function here the num rows okay this is a function is equal to one or you can type more than zero whatever you prefer so this should happen now I'm just gonna return something here return 
oh yes this is perfect run raw oh sorry about that yes this is what I just want raw number zero it the first raw well I have to use the parentheses this was a perfect one because this is still in a functional way ID okay basically I'm just getting the ID here uh, the ID of the raw or actually the ID of the result which, which we are getting uh, the user ID that is super perfect and what more do I need we need to create the else here so here what we are just returning return false yes now I'm just gonna guide you about what we did we just did if the number of is equal to one what means more not more than one or not more than or not less than one then we have we are just getting the user ID what is the user ID the, the user ID is this element okay and we have to remove this space from there and there now it's looking more perfect basically we're just getting the user ID this user ID okay otherwise we're just returning false this is the way we need to do in the model area okay the name is login info and here if I just go to the login controller this is the login info too so this should be in a small letter and save that 